Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm your host Big E and we are playing World of Warcraft Season of Mastery. Yes, we are. We are on the Shadow Strike server uh, with like five other people in the world. <laughs> and uh, this is Mrs. Lilith. This is our undead priest. Say hello, Lilith. Hey. I was hoping she would go hello but she did not do such a thing. Any old who. We logged out, I believe, in Undercity. We turned in a quest there after a pretty risky series of quests. Uh, well, one, really. We had to gather three heads, and by gather, I mean chop them off of corpses. Yes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Anyway, I hearthed to Splinter Tree Post, and we are flying down to Camp Tarajo because we're going to run to the Southern Barrens. We have a quest to turn in at the Great Lift. And then I figured we would, uh, I don't know, maybe go down into Thousand Needles. But I guess it depends on what we get. Um, but Thousand Needles, there is a horde camp up in the mountain or whatever you might want to call it. Those big giant protruding pieces of earth pillars. Yes, I think I've worded it really well. <laughs> anyway, hope everyone's doing well. I sure do. I hope you had a very happy and fun Halloween, if you celebrate such things. That would have been yesterday. I don't know if it's a... I don't think it's like a global thing. Uh, Hallow's Eve? I don't know. It, I, it's celebrated different ways. Here in America, uh, it's mainly used as a commercial way to uh, get children fat. Yeah, and adults. That's That's really what it's for. I don't think anybody really knows, uh, like, the origins of it. I don't know. Maybe we've got some educated people out there. Why don't you educate us, see? <laughs> anyway, uh, how was my Halloween? I don't know. It hasn't happened yet because it's a few days before Halloween for me. In fact, today is the 28th. So yesterday would have been, uh, we had a special guest, the Crypt Keeper stopped by with uh his terrifying countenance visage whatever word you might want to use there kind of a short episode and i had to uh we had to do a short episode on that because that mask oh, i thought i had it here i put it up is so uncomfortable to wear <laughs> So uncomfortable to wear. It's way too like narrow for my giant massive head. Um, there's no soft points inside. I could not wear my glasses, so that's why you could you probably see me like this most of the video uh, because I'm just trying to. I've got my drop my my uh, screen down a little bit here, and I was just trying to see up close. I can't see up close very well. Far away, fine. Perfect, perfect sight. The only time I wear these glasses is when I need to do this. Read or whatever. I don't need them when I'm driving or anything. But um, Also, it came with these blackout pieces on the eyes of that mask. But I had to take them off because I literally could not see. I could see about this far in front of me. <laughs> but it kind of, it was kind of cool. I was looking, I watched the video back when I was editing a little bit, certain parts um and it looked it looked kind of cool i do apologize the sound the creepy music was fine but the game noise was a little bit too loud i do apologize for that yeah, but yeah i had fun doing it and i actually had to do it twice <laughs> i did the whole episode imported it into my editing software, which is DaVinci Resolved, and realized that I did not capture the game. I had, um, not this, I had another creepy um, image from something else I was doing. And I just, I don't know what the hell I was doing there, but um, yeah, I it was just me 
with all of the game sounds and everything, but just like a creepy background, like not the game background. <laughs> so I put the mask back on and I redid the episode. And honestly, it, it was better than the first episode. There were some pretty funny parts in the first episode. And the first part, we actually did a completely, well, we did a different quest. Uh, and I almost died. <laughs> Yeah, we did a quest where we ran into Stone Talon. We ran in here. And I did the quest slaying these, um, the Torin, the bad Torin people. I don't remember what they're called, but uh, yeah, I almost died. I got overwhelmed by three mobs. <laughs> I actually thought we were dead. And I couldn't see very well with that mask on. I was having a lot of trouble. Because, as, you know, if anybody been watching the channel for a while or whatever, you know, like, I'm primarily a button clicker. And I was just having a hell of a lot of tr trouble. But it was a lot of fun. Just making up the narration as I went. And, uh, yeah. Also, yesterday, you would have seen, well, you might have seen, anybody was interested, the season, not the season finale, but the, uh, the last episode, the final chapter of Witch Hill which can also be called Witch Hill, the Curse of Agatha. I kind of just took that out. What level? Okay, we're good to go in here. We're level 31. Um, do I want that Mage Royal? I don't, I don't know that I do. I've not really messed. I've not been using Herbalism very much here. But I probably need to. This is a hardcore challenge. But you get to a point in... A point in... <laughs> I kind of do need it. Nah, we've got plenty for now. Anyway, I'm kind of scatterbrained all over the place. Anyway, that came out yesterday. And I think I put a little pumpkin carving thing up there. And um, I almost didn't release that video. Just because my time-lapse camera... I, I put things away. <laughs> I like that camera, but the resolution is low. It's only like 720. It's just like standard or whatever normal HD. It's 720. It's not even 1080. I tried to upscale it to 2K, but it just didn't come out very well. Uh, it it's very nice if I'm if I want to time lapse a sunrise or a sunset from the distance. It's somehow a little bit better, but because I was close up like that, I don't feel like it came out very well. But eh, whatever, I I just put it up anyway. Anyway. Do, 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 anyway, this is this is our hardcore challenge. Um Yeah, we're running alongside um our Naked Mage challenge. I have changed the name, the Pugilist Challenge, into the Naked Mage Challenge. Just makes more sense. The Pugilist Challenge, I think, would make more sense if we were if we were playing a warrior. Uh, or like a rogue, like a non-spellcaster, a non-ranged class. It would make a lot more sense because a pugilist is a prize fighter and they throw punches. Yes. We also had a, um, a short-lived Let's Play where I could only use fist weapons. That was a lot of fun. I think we were an orc. It might have been an orc warrior. Maybe a tauren? I don't know. I like doing the custom challenges, but uh, anyway... We are currently level 31. Did I pick a talent? I did. And in other hardcore news. Um, what is the newsy? Uh, what, is, what was I going to say? Oh, so Beard Fist. Um, good grief, man. Beard Fist. I'm going to pick up this one. Oh, this is King's Blood. I need this one anyway. Um, I am on my... Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm on my sixth um, try with Beard Fist. <laughs> yeah. I think somewhere in there. It might even be seven. You guys were familiar with Beard Fist, the Dwarf Paladin, who made it to level 57. I rolled two hunters after that. One died at level 20, right after I got um, Aspect of the Cheetah. 
Right after I got that, I died. I was running. No, what was I doing? I can't remember where I died. Um, and then I rolled another hunter and died at like level 16, trying to rush. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm <laughs> I give up. But it's just in my blood, man. I cannot not do the hardcore challenge. I'm just because I got that far to level 57, it just left such a sour taste in my mouth, man. So I rolled another version of Beard Fist and I started to go mage. And I was like, nah. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go paladin. And then I was like, no. Um Night Elf Hunter is what I have rolled. And I'm not even going to oh, let me do this first. Hell. Well, I'm not um I think right now what level am I? I don't know, like 16 or something. I'm not very far in. But I maybe I'll give updates. I wasn't even going to mention it because, I don't know, I'm just kind of expecting to die. But I'm going to try to do my best. And if I do, you know, get any to risky stuff and the character I feel like is still going strong, I'll do what I was doing with the other Beer Fist. I'll just record some of the dangerous parts in case I die. And we'll just see how far we can get. Calling in the reserves. You have news from Magran Earthbinder. Probably. This is great news. I have been sitting here guarding this hunk of wood for too long. Now I can spend my time with my family. Oh, good. Be careful. No follow-up. We can talk to this freak. Let's talk to this freak. Sorry about the freak stuff, bro. What brings you here? Okay, we'll accept Go this. In peace. Oh, I chose... I'll never make that. Actually, could I have made that? Let's see. No, we wouldn't have made it. We would have ran off the edge and fell to our deaths. That would not be a good way to end a hardcore challenge. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll run over to Free Wind Post, apparently, is what it's called. I don't have a lot of experience here in Thousand Needles, but it's kind of a cool little zone. It's mainly, I feel like it's mainly a horde zone, but um, there's an alliance flight path here. I think it's actually, it's right on the border. But I think the Alliance could have a couple of quests in here. We should be okay level rise. I th level wise, I think we're right in the middle. Actually, what level range is this? 25 to 35. Okay. Should be okay. I don't have this up. I don't have this up. Level 27. Um, free one post down here. Let's actually get to the road. We might have a couple of quests to go up there between these pillars. I don't know what else to call those things. We also have a quest here called Steel Snap. Oh, a little panther right there. Fortunately, we're six levels above it. Level are these? These are a little bit higher. They will see us a little bit further away. But Steel Snap is still a red quest for us. Um, if, it was, if it was just one mob, I would think about it. But, um, oh, it's now yellow. The problem with this is he, he walks around. It's like a, it's not an elite or anything, but it's... It's a hyena, I think, or a blister paw. Yeah, blister paw hyena. And it walks around with two other mobs. Might wait till that turns green before we think about trying that. This is the Mulgore music, or at least some of it is. The Torin starting zone and many other places in the game. So tomorrow at my gym, tomorrow is a Saturday for me. It's the 29th tomorrow. I went up to the dim, the dim, the gym this evening. I was talking to the owner a little bit. When he's not working out, I think he works out like mid morning, but he he trains people, and he was training this this uh, younger girl in there, and he's coming over talking to me every once in a while, and he let me know that tomorrow he's having like a Halloween party. 
He says he's got about a hundred members. Uh, not all of them. Most of them, I think, are not like people just don't come. They pay for the membership, but they don't actually go to the gym. Um, but he's got a Halloween party. He says you can dress up if you want. Um, he's going to have some like chicken wings and pizza. And uh, I think he said people, some people might bring beer or whatever. Yeah, so it's, it's like a legit party. And he invited me, but he's, uh, I've talked to him enough. He, he kind of, he's aware of my social anxiety. And uh, he said, you know, no pressure. But uh, if you want to, stop by and meet some people. He goes, and I quote, there'll be a lot of hot chicks, bro. Something like that. <laughs> he didn't actually say, that's, I shouldn't, I'm not going to put that in quotes. But he, I th he did say there will be some ladies there. I've been single for a while, man. Yes, I have. We're going to jump over here. There, You can do this if I can make the jump. Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, the plays? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I made a protein shake, and I made it so thick... It doesn't even pour out of my... I have to suck it out of the thing. It's so thick. It's really good, though. That usually happens if I put... I usually put a banana into my protein shake. But if you if I don't put enough... Uh, I like to use, like, soy milk. Something with some protein in what it. What brings you here? In place of water. Um, but I didn't put enough, so it just got really thick. What do you want, priest? An, ur uh, an urgent message for me? Yes. More bad news. These centaurs have gone too far. They raided one of my supply caravans and slaughtered the whole party. This is an outrage, and it will not go unpunished. Okay. Pacify the centaur. I think he means kill them. Lilith, I entreat you to hunt these centaur down. They shall feel the wrath of our revenge. Attack the centaur camp to the north of Freewind Post. Let wrath guide your hand. He wants us to kill 12 scouts. Ten Wranglers and six Wind Chasers. Walk with the Earth Mother. Alrighty. We got any, surely there's more. Yeah, we've got a couple other quests here we can see. Pick up the flight point. Let's see what he's got. This is Elu. Well met. I've been tasked to recruit more wyverns for the Master Wind Riders. Their numbers are growing and my wait, their numbers are growing and I myself hope to become a wind rider one day. However, we cannot train enough wyverns to keep up with the demand. Perhaps you can help me, Lilith. I needed to travel to High Perch to gather some wyvern eggs. From here, head northwest along the canyon walls to a ramp that would lead you into High Perch. Be careful. Wyverns are very protective over their eggs, and they will not be kind to intruders. Goodbye. What's this to steal ten eggs? All right. He's looking to uh, be like a uh, nicey here. Nisa. Nice. I don't know how you say her name. We've got another quest over here. Let's go check in. We might spend a little time here at Thousand Needles. The winds guide you. Alien egg. A rumor has surfaced, surfaced about an alien egg here in Thousand Needles. Those that report seeing this egg have failed to even get close enough to examine it in detail. Serpents guard the egg as if it's one of their own. Well, how do you know it's not one of theirs is my question i want you to seek out this alien egg and bring it to me so that i may examine it reports say the egg is located within a serpent den and there are several serpent dens along the base of the cliff walls to the south and the northeast of the post return the alien egg to hagar ancestors watch over you odor okay do we have time to do this we spent like 20 minutes getting here uh, we'll splay. Splay. I'm. Ha I'm. Uh, ha I'm mixing up words here, letters in the words. We'll spend a little time on this centaur quest. Yeah, I guess the serpent things could be uh, the alien egg or whatever could be in there. I actually thought it was in a different place. I thought it was in like a little hovel up, like around here, something. I don't know. We'll work on the centaurs first. I made the jump. Should be just to the north here, according to that fine Torin being. Mm -hmm.
Da, 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 da. Good level range. I mean, it's green, you know. That's the way to do it if you're doing a hardcore challenge. Play it a little bit safe. But it's tough for me to do that, though. I always want to be fighting yellow mobs, man. Will they run off? They should. They would. They do. It's okay. That's what we have Mind Flay for. The scouts are ranged. I think the Wind Chasers might be ranged as well. I think they might be casters. The music seems a bit low here. Let me turn it up a little. I'll turn the ambience back up a bit. There's a fine line between too loud and too low. It might be a little bit too loud right now, but this it also depends on the area. If you're in an area where the music swells up and all that, it's it can be overwhelming. Like you don't want it competing with uh, with the voice, you know. She's got some mana. But she's chosen to come within melee range and get defeated. Didn't even cast a spell. I'm running a little bit low on drinky drinks, but I've got some candy corn. Which um, also restores mana, I believe. Restores 3% of your health and mana per second for 25 seconds. I don't know if I'm going to worry about the shield. Maybe I should. I wonder why I didn't run off. The other guy did. Let's put it up. I like contradicting myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mind Flay is t as a 10 yard shorter range than my my other spells. Oh, she's going to run up in melee range, I believe, yeah. Is that a heal? Oh, you bitch. All right, not a big deal. They're pretty weak sauce. Well, I mean, they're regular sauce. It's just we're we're higher level than they are, so. Let's track this quest. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, you're in your quest log and you want to track or untrack a quest, you just hold the shift key down. Um, and you can track and untrack if you want. Hold the left shift key down and click on it. Let's see if we can not let her heal here. Oh, she's going for it. She got it. Not a big deal. I do not have an interrupt. I mean, I could use Psychic Scream as a potential interrupt, but I don't really want to do that. What we don't want her to do is do another heal. Some mobs will do that. That is annoying, too, boy. If you're fighting like a yellow mob, something around your uh, level that heals, and you don't have an interrupt, or even if you do have an interrupt... Sometimes they will heal twice. 
the mobs in Stranglethorn Vale, in the Northern Vale, the Medicine Men, I think it is, those things are so annoying. Like I said, unless you've got a kick. If you've got a kick, it's not that big of a deal. Did he tell? Usually when they stop like that, it means they're, uh, they're telling on you. It's a full moon somewhere up there, but uh, we can't see it. If they get too low, they won't. They'll just run off. They won't actually do the heal. I do. Oh my god! I am never going to remember to change my uh, Hearthstone. It's at Splinter Tree Post. I do not want it there. It should really be back here, but we're not that far away. Let's we'll see if we can get this done. And see if I can remember to change my Hearthstone. Especially when we do the... Um, you resist my mind blast, you bastard. When we do the high perch thing for the eggs, we'll be kind of far away. We'll be able to do it and then hearth back. But again, that all depends if I can remember to actually change it. It's something I almost never, ever remember to do. I gotta get some dinner. The protein shake I just use is kind of a quick way to get protein into my body. And some uh, BCAAs, some branch chain amino acids. Like a little recovery blend there. But it's no substitute for food. Not at all. Kind of low on mana. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. May it probably won't have enough drinks to do this. I've got a few mana pots I could potentially use. I don't know why else I would what I would save them for. Something like that you would want to save for like dungeons, but uh, we're not running dungeons on this character. I don't even think I could get into a dungeon even if I really wanted to. I'm going to hold off on Smite. Just conserve some mana. These guys are, they get out pretty quick with my dot and my mind blast. I'll just do mind flay on them. So the Wranglers are, uh, they're also ranged. That's interesting. <laughs> the, um, the only mob that will run up into melee range is the uh, Wind Chasers who have mana. It's always a little bit weird to me when that happens. I just always think something that has mana is going to stand in place and cast. I guess it depends on the type of mob it is. It's nice being this little bit of a higher level. If you come in here at their level, like 23, 24, or whatever, or 25 even, this it's easy to aggro more. And the way that they run off, if you don't control it, this place could be kind of a problem. There's a heal. That was a full heal too, bro. It's okay, they get on quick. We got a blackout. Okay, we're done with the wind chasers. So it's like all wind chasers too. <laughs> there we go. Here's a wrangler. A wrangler. going to run to the back of the tent. I'll never see him. If he runs to the back of the tent, where did he go? What do we got here? Some silver. I think I heard another YouTuber saying that you can only get silver vein at night, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him during the day. 
I don't know. Do you guys know anything about that? These silver veins? Doesn't seem like it would be a thing, but it might. There are fish that you can only catch at night or um, in the winter or the summer. Like the winter squid or the summer bass. I know that because uh, during Mr. Pandaria, when I was doing, I got the, all of the fishing achievements you can get. And that was one of them to catch, you know, certain fish and stuff. I wonder why some run away and some don't. Uh, don't. I think it depends if they're in the middle of a wind-up for a cast. Look at this chest. This is the worst hiding place for a chest. Maybe they're like, we're not trying to hide it, loser. It's just where we keep our stuff. Well, now it's mine. And melon juice. I guess I'll take it. I'll just throw it out there as like auxiliary mana. What have we got in here? A Wrangler. We need um, four more of these these guys over here. Have we got a pat coming here? We do. Should be fine. Oh. Now we're still fine. I may psychic scream her. Yeah, I don't want her to I don't want her to get that heal off. Do 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 let's drink up this uh, low level mana pot and I'll drink up some high level protein shake. It's so thick. It's almost like I have to chew it. <laughs> I think I'm going to have some chicken and rice tonight. I had some... Uh, actually, I still got some rice from last night. Let's cook up a little bit more chicken and mix it together. Delicious. I'm on a, um, kind of pushing myself a bit, diet-wise. Um, it's not like I'm overweight or anything, but I'm going to try to drop about 12 pounds before my upcoming trip, going back to Virginia on the uh, 19th of December. And I'm coming back... On the 30th, I, I had to move it up a little bit. Originally, I was going to come back on the 2nd, but I need to be back a little bit earlier. But I'm going to see uh, family. Family mostly, both sides. Dad's side and my mom's side. My parents are passed away. And my stepfather's passed away some of my aunts, but um, there's people I can still see. Looking forward to that. Kind of. I'm also quite nervous, honestly. Pretty anxious about it. It's just kind of the way I am. So, it gives me just over a week to see. Uh, I got a lot of people to see, and I'm, I'm going to try to do my best. Problem is, like, I won't have a car. Right? I, I mean, I guess I could rent a car, but they're kind of expensive. I don't really feel like doing that. So hopefully, um, I'll be able to borrow somebody's car. I'm sure that I will be able to do that. I think my uncle Ed has a Corvette. He has a bought a, for his retirement. He bought himself a Corvette. Maybe I'll be able to drive that around. <laughs> He's a cool dude. He he would absolutely let me do it. Would let me use it. All right, let's get our last Wrangler here. If you're wondering why I'm running up a little bit closer because I need to be in mind play range. Otherwise, I've got to stop casting, run forward, and try to get mind play off when he runs away. How dare you! It's the first time they've netted me. You, you guys have had that ability the whole time? <laughs> I 
I think I missed a loot over there, a mob. I don't know. All right, we just need one more scout, and then we're out of here. Too bad you couldn't be a scout. Let's see if he nets me. It's a good move. Before you, before he tries to run away, it's a smart play by the NPC. There it goes. See if we can track down a scout. It's going to be all wranglers and wind chasers. There's a scout. This might be a double pull if he aggroes this guy here. Let me get him down quick. We did aggro. Get blacked out, sir. All right. We have completed the quest. How nice it... Uh, it would have been nice to have my uh, hearthstone. I'm totally going to remember to do it. There's no way I'm going to forget we got some herbs over there, but I can't be bothered, honestly. Let's go turn this in. Next episode, we'll uh, maybe check out the alien egg, or we'll come down here to High Perch. A couple of rares walk around this area, three or four. Maybe we'll run into them. Maybe we'll hunt them, I don't know. Yeah, I think about... Um, I think about TBC... Compared to classic, being able to get that mount at level 30. But I don't even think we can afford it right now. I don't know. We got like six gold. Can't remember how much it is. I don't mind, though. It, I, I kind of prefer it this way. It would be convenient to have it at level 30. But I'm, you know, kind of old school classic guy. I like, I like this uh, kind of just hoofing it, man. This is just nostalgic of how it was way back when. Everybody was on their feet until level 40. I wonder if you can look that up. Like, who the first person was to get a mount? In, you know, back then, 2004, in Classic, at level 40. I wonder if there's a record of that somewhere. I would be kind of interested. That must have been so awesome. The first one, you know? Would he have... Would they have even known they were the first? He or she? They? Them? You know? That human being. I don't know. Oh. For my gratitude, this is for you, Lilith. 18 silver. Not very gracious. Ah, uh, we'll pick that up next we episode. Shall meet again. All right, right now, Hearthstone. Yes, I did not forget. No, I did not. What brings you? Make here? this in my home. Ancestors watch over you. And uh peace, friend. Trick or treat? Well. We've been tricked. We have been tricked. What are we? We are something. What's cool about this one is you can't get rid of this. Um if you get the costume, you can get out of it, but this one it's like 45 seconds. You just uh you're just whatever they want you to be. See if I might be able to get a little... Uh, that's going to be a dark... Oh, here we go, right here. This is it. This is it right here. Probably won't be able to tell what that is. It's a little bit too dark. <laughs> anyway, let's wrap this up. Well, we are going to call it here. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Lilith and myself will catch you in the next episode. It's been real. Take care and peace.